All right, today in this 2012 Dodge Charger uh, V6 model, we're going to install part number C12064 from Kurt. All right, this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on the vehicle. Next, we'll give you some measurements that'll help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a bicycle rack or a cargo carrier. From top of receiver opening down to the ground will be about nine and a quarter inches. And from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the bumper will be about seven inches. Now I'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. All right, first thing we need to do is go ahead and loosen up the exhaust and also remove a portion of it. All right, now there's a, a T-pipe uh, right by the rear axle that we're going to loosen up the clamp on. We'll spray some lubricant on it and then loosen up the nut and then loosen up the clamp. Now there are two exhaust hangers by the muffler on the driver's side that we have to remove as well. They'll unbolt from the frame. Now I'll go ahead and remove that section of the exhaust. There'll be a close tolerance so you have to work it back and forth and around to, to get it off the, the exhaust tube. Once that's removed, we'll go over to the passenger side and we'll go ahead and unbolt the hangers for that. This will be the same as the driver's side. We'll go towards the front and there'll be two other hangers that we have to spray down with some lubricant and we'll go ahead and remove those. We'll just go ahead and pry them off so we can get the exhaust low as possible. Now there are going to be some fasteners on the very bottom edge of the bumper cover that we're going to have to remove. This will give us some flexibility in the bumper cover so we can lower exhaust as much as possible. We'll go ahead and do the fasteners. There'll be one inside the fender well that we'll remove, two screws on the passenger side, and then behind the bumper there's some brackets that go up to the bumper structure. We'll remove those plastic rivets as well. We're going to pull back on the fascia just enough to get the exhaust to fall down through to fit below it. Now this is a very tight fit. The exhaust pipe will drag on the inside edge. Now once we have as low as possible, we can go ahead and start installing the hardware for the hitch. Looking at the passenger side, you'll see two round holes and an oval hole between there. Then you'll also see a threaded hole. The hitch will use the two round holes and the threaded hole. We'll go ahead and install our hardware. We're going to use the block and a carriage bolt. And we'll also use a bolt leader to install the hardware. All right, now we'll go take our bolt leader and run through the hole we're going to use and then out the access hole. We'll thread our block in and then push it in the frame. And then thread on our bolt. And then pull the whole thing through. All right, got one done. Let's go to the next hole and repeat the same process. All right, now we're done for passenger side. Let's go over to the driver side. Now that will only get one block and carriage bolt and there'll be two threaded holes to work with. So we'll go ahead and install our hardware on the one round hole next to the oval hole just like we did on the passenger side. Then we'll take a moment to clean out the threads and the threaded holes. We'll use some lubricant and a tube brush to clean it out. The tube brush will be part number 814092. Now this is a new vehicle, it'll be pretty easy to clean out. However, when the vehicle gets older, there'll be more dirt and debris inside the threads and this will take more time to clean out. Eventually, you may need a thread tap to clean out the threads. Let's go ahead and install the hitch. We're going to take the passenger side of the hitch and set it on top of the exhaust. That'll hold that side for us for now. We'll push up the driver's side and install the flange nut for the bolt hanging down from the frame. Now we'll go back to the passenger side and push the hitch up, run the bolts through the hitch, and be careful not to push them back into the frame, and then install the flange nuts on those two bolts. With the hitch loosely installed, we'll go ahead and install the metric bolts and the conical tooth washers for the threaded holes. We'll go ahead and make sure the teeth on the conical tooth washer are pointing up towards the hitch. We'll use a short socket and extension to help push it up and run the bolt in on the passenger side.
Now let's go over to the driver's side and install the two metric bolts and conical tooth washers there. With all our hardware loosely installed, we'll go ahead and tighten down the bolts, then torque them down as specified in the instructions. Now it's a good idea to use a medium length socket on the passenger side and a swivel. That way you can get access to the nut and still tighten it down. All right, now if all our hardware torque down specifications, we'll go ahead and start reinstalling the exhaust. We'll go ahead and reinstall the driver's side first, and then reinstall the passenger side. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall the rubber hangers going up towards the front. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall the fasteners for the bumper cover. That'll finish it for our install part number C12064 from Kurt on our 2012 Dodge Charger.